Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add effects or effects chains with toolbars in Reaper. I have a project set up here and I want to add some effects to the tracks or even the items. Now we could obviously do this by going to our tracks and hitting the effects button, but I want to do it a different way using our toolbars. So let's open up a toolbar. We could right click over here, open toolbar, and I'm going to choose one I don't use. Toolbar two, and we can move this where we want. We can float it like this. We can move it to the main toolbar at the top of the window, but I'm going to put it in the toolbar docker, which shows up down here. Let's move it to the top. So an empty toolbar shows up with one button made for editing that toolbar. Let's click it. And right over here, we could add buttons that perform actions. So if we hit add, it opens up the actions where we could add the one we want to create a toolbar button for. But by default, there's no effects that show up here. But we can go around that by adding a keyboard shortcut to our effects. Let me show you. Let's close it. Now we can go up here to the view menu and choose effects browser. Or we could type in Shift F. And that opens up our effects browser, where we can choose all plugins. Now it doesn't matter which plugin we choose, but to keep it simple, let's use the Reaper ones. Let's say I want to add an EQ. We'll choose Re-EQ right here. Then we'll right click it and create a shortcut to choose it. Now it doesn't matter what keyboard shortcut we choose, we're going to delete it in a bit. Although we could use the keyboard shortcut if you don't want to use toolbars. Let's just create one. Hit OK. Now let's go back to our toolbar, hit Add, and find that keyboard shortcut. It's right over here. Let's delete the keyboard shortcut because we don't need it. Double click it, and it adds it to our toolbar. Let's move it first, right click it, and create a text icon with shorter characters. Let's choose EQ. Now the button is going to look like this. So let's close it. Now it shows up over here. Now we can select a track, hit that toolbar button, and it adds an EQ to that track right here. And we could do it with multiple tracks. Let's select all three, hit that button, and it adds an EQ to all of them, which is much quicker than doing it one by one. And it's also going to work with items. If I select this item, hit the button, it adds an EQ just to this item, or multiple items if they're all selected. Let's do the same thing with a compressor. Again, hit Shift F to open the browser. Let's choose Recomp. But once again, you can use any compressor you prefer. Right click, add a shortcut. I'll use the same one as before because we deleted it before. Close this, reopen the toolbar. Hit add, and let's find that action. Right here, we can delete the keyboard shortcut, double click it, and it shows up right here. Change the text icon to comp, and it shows up up here. Add it to a track. Add it to multiple tracks, or add it 
to our items. And we could also stack the effects. So if I select this track, add an EQ, it shows up here, add a compressor, and another EQ, we get all three plugins one after another, like a chain, which brings up a great feature. We could also do this with effects chains. Let's set up a setting. Let's use the first EQ to filter out some low end, the compressor to compress, change the release, and use the last EQ to boost some mids and top end. Let's say I wanted to save this as an effects chain and also trigger this with a toolbar button. We could do that as well. Just right click, effects chain, save all effects as effects chain. Let's call it chain. Let's delete all this. Open up the effects browser and find that chain. Right click it, give it a shortcut. Open up a toolbar, find that shortcut right here for the effects chain. Let's delete it and add it to our toolbar. Let's move it up here, give it a shorter name. We'll call it chain. And now it shows up right here. So we could select a track and add the effects chain with one click of a button. And it shows up with each effect and the settings exactly the same. And again, we can add it to multiple tracks and also multiple items. Now when using effects chains, we don't have to use multiple effects. It's a great way of saving a preset when we want to recall for just one effect. For example, let's open up the effects browser. Let's go back to our EQ. Let's say I wanted to create a filter, a high pass filter right here, and set it up at about 100 hertz and save this as an effects chain. So to recall the exact setting we set up here. Right click it, effects chain, save selected effects as chain, I'll name it high pass filter, close this, go back to the effects, find the effects chain, right click it, create a shortcut, open the toolbar again, Edit, find it here, delete it. Let's move it over to here. Right click, high pass filter. And once again, we can use this button just to add a high pass filter with that setting. So let's select all our tracks. Hit the button, and we get a high pass filter at 100 hertz for each one of our tracks. And again, we could put it on our items one at a time, or we'll put them on all of them. And it puts that filter on each one of the items. Now, if we don't want the effect window to open up each time, but we still want to insert it on our tracks or the items, we could change a preference. Let's go to our preferences. And let's scroll down to our plugins and turn off auto open effects windows after quick add. And with this off, it's still going to add those effects, but it's not going to open the effects window. So they're right here 
on each track, but it doesn't open all these windows. So we can quickly edit to each one of our items without creating a mess and opening it up each time. It's especially useful if you know you want that setting and you're not going to change it. So you don't really need to see it. And it's going to work with any button we create. So that's pretty much it. That's adding effects or effects chains with toolbars in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.